Hey everybody, how you guys doing today? Hope you guys are doing alright. My name is Sam Spielberg and welcome to Source Filmmaker. Today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Today I thought I would do a tutorial. Um, I didn't really have any anything in particular that I wanted to talk about. Um, but I decided to go ahead and show you guys uh, a useful script that you can find in the Source Filmmaker Workshop. I'll include a link in the description. It's called Doc's Puppeting Script, if I recall correctly. And it's it's a... It's a pretty it's a pretty awesome script. It basically allows you to take any animation from uh, any existing model that you have in Source Filmmaker, uh, any animation from that model, and put it into any other model. It's a it's a pretty useful script. I used to use it a lot whenever I needed to get a quick uh, animation for I don't know, like a, some guy in the background or something like that, or or even in a pose, um, as is actually going to be this case. So. Um, pretty awesome script, and I'm going to show you guys how to use it. It's a little complicated because there are little kind of quirky things that you have to do to get it working, but once you get it down, it's super easy. Let's go ahead and get into it. So here we have a stormtrooper. He's just a stock stormtrooper. No posing or anything like that. And I want to get uh, this kind of pose where he's kind of like holding a gun or something like that. And I could go ahead and pose that myself, but I'm lazy. So, you know. Uh, so, yeah, so, I'm gonna steal a pose from this, uh, from this guy right here. And looking over his sequences, we can probably find... I don't know what that is. Uh, jeez, hitting a bunch of random ones here. Here we go. Something like that. Something like that. Something like that. Kind of bent over. Something like, uh... I don't know, but yeah, you get the idea. So, we're gonna take... Actually, that looks pretty good. So we're gonna take, uh, so we're gonna take this uh, sequence and we're going to put it into the stormtrooper. So the first thing we need is we need, um, so we need our two models. So we've got the stormtrooper, and then we've got over here, there he is. We've got the Half-Life Two human. Now, like I said, this script is taking one sequence and putting it into. Uh, sorry, one sequence from one model and putting it into another model, hence the name Puppeting Script. So we have our two models. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to, well, you'll kind of work this out on your own, but it's good to say it. We, we'll need to determine which one of these is the puppet and which one of these is the puppet master, because, you know, Puppeting Script, Puppet Masters, were, you know, one is, one is essentially going to be controlling the other. And the one that is going to be controlling the the model is going to be controlling the stormtrooper is of course this handsome devil right here. So, um, so the human over here is the puppet master, and the stormtrooper is the puppet. So one, now that we've determined that, we can move on. The next step is, and I don't really know why this is, um, but uh, I assume it's part of the script or something like that. But you need to rename your models um, to the same name. So you, so I'm just going to call him Steve. He looks like a Steve. And I'm going to call the Stormtrooper Steve 1. Now that is important. You your, your models have to have the exact same name minus numbers. And you have to rename them. So for example, let me back out here. I couldn't just name the Stormtrooper male uh, 0 to 3. That would not work. I would have to rename um, uh, the, uh, the human as well. So we're just going to go back and rename them Steve. Um, and then... So the puppet master is named Steve, and then the puppet is named Steve One. Now, believe it or not, we're actually pretty much uh, we're actually pretty much done. The last thing to do is to apply the rig. Um, once you subscribe to the rig on the workshop page, it should appear uh, in this uh, in this uh, uh, drop down menu. Uh, it should be in let's see. Yeah, it should be one of these doc revs and modified puppet. We have alpha, beta, delta, and gamma. We have four of these. Um, I'm going to see if I can remember them. Alpha is specifically for models within the same game universe. So if I were to take a taunt, uh, if I were to take a scout taunt and put it into the heavy, I would use the alpha. If I were to take, I forget what the beta does. If I were to take, like, uh, like, uh, the walk cycle, for example, if, if I were to take an animation from a Half-Life character and put it into a Team Fortress character, I'd use the Delta. I, I'm hoping I get this right. And then if I use the Gamma, the Gamma is taking any other animation from any model and putting it to any other model, uh, which is what we're doing right here. So we're going to go to Rig, Doc Revson, Puppet, Gamma. 
And we're going to click it. And it already happened because I already did this before. But when you do that, Source Filmmaker should freeze for a little bit. And then you should notice that the Stormtrooper model has gone away. In fact, we can no longer select him. Now, if that happens, that's actually good. So let's, uh, let's test it and see if it actually worked. Oh, well, that's not good. I think it worked. I'm not sure. Let's find out. We'll go ahead and uh, put in the... Uh... Oh, what the hell. We'll just, we'll just put in a... No, it didn't work. Okay, so maybe we don't need the gamma. So let's control Z out of that. What do we need? It sort of worked. It half worked. Delta. No. Why is it not working? That's not good. Huh. Um, beta? Oh, beta. Yay! Well, sort of yay. Maybe yay? I don't know. <laughs> this is not going as well. Okay, but yeah, so that's actually pretty much it. We can kind of call it right there. See, we move the transform around and the Stormtrooper goes with it. Now, obviously, it's pretty broken, but that is the, uh, that, we're, we're done, essentially. Like, if, 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 if these two, I, it must be the Stormtrooper that's not terribly compatible. You know what, just to kind of help save face, let's bring in my old faithful pal, Heavy. Where is he? There he is. Hey, buddy. Just to show you that it, it in fact, really does work. Although we already proved that. So, yeah, I'll just go ahead and show you guys the result. So, we need to rem rename, again, we need to rename uh, the model. Uh, we're going to name him Steve 2. So, we got Steve, he's the puppet master. There's the Stormtrooper Steve, and then there's Heavy Steve. Uh, Stormtrooper and Heavy are the puppets. Okay, let's try this again. And we should be able to use... Should be able to use the beta? I think so. Yeah, it sort of worked. Uh, let's see if it really worked. No, it didn't work. Ah! Okay, you know what? This one definitely works. This one always works. And... Yay! So it didn't work with the Stormtrooper, but we already made it work with the Stormtrooper, and we're done trying to fix the Stormtrooper. So, um, so yeah, we made it work for the Heavy. Let's find a run animation. Run all. And boom! Check that out. Check that out. We can we can tweak it. <coughs> we can tweak it in one of two ways. We can tweak it from the Puppet Master, which is not going to be as easy. Or, let's go ahead and show you that. So, you may have noticed that we're no longer able to select the Heavy. All of his bones are hidden. Uh, he's, being con uh, he's being completely controlled by uh, the human over here. So, um... And it looks like, it, obviously, we're going to need to modify his pose, so um, how do we get him back? Well, we can go over here in our animation set editor. We go to Hidden Controls, Show Hidden Controls. And for whatever reason, the script automatically hides the puppets. Uh, so, it's again, it's really easy to get it back, so Show Hidden Controls. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and then we right-click the puppet. We deselect Hidden, and then we... Uh, then we toggle his selectability, and now we can see all his bones. We can't move them, though, because he's still controlled by uh, the Puppet Master. He's still being controlled by the Puppet Master. So in order to do that, we simply go to uh, Steve. We simply go to the Heavy over here, and we go to Detach Rig. It'll probably freeze up on you, uh, but it shouldn't crash. It should be fine. Just let it sit there for a minute. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Hey, there we go. And now we have a fully accessible heavy Steve. Stevy, excuse me. And we can kind of mess with his pose a little bit. And there we go. We have a jogging heavy. That looks pretty good, sort of. I mean, it's going to need some cleaning up or whatever, but yeah. Um, that is, that is how you use that. That is how you use a dock and Revson's 
puppeting script. I hope you guys found that useful. Uh, again, you can check out the script in the description. It's a super useful script. Give it some love. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this tutorial, about uh, anything I've said in this tutorial that didn't make any sense, please feel free to ask. If you guys have any questions about Source Filmmaker in general, please feel free to ask. If you guys have any suggestions or ideas for another tutorial, like if you guys like this tutorial and you're like, yeah, I do some more, then you know, please feel free to let me know if you guys have any suggestions for tutorials. I've tried to think of some and I may come up with some more, but you know, if, if there's anything in particular that you guys want to learn, please feel free to suggest it to me. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. That's all I have to say for now, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.